Friday, March 31st. I am a sweaty, greasy mess. I am coming from the gym and I am sort of starting to prep for opening night. We're four days out. Got my gym time in, recording for the day, heading home, gonna touch up my hair dye. I'm getting a facial because I'm continuing to break out like crazy and I think AccuView is on the horizon. So if anyone's had experience with that, let me know. Probably next fall. So I don't have to worry about the sun so much. I need to get my nails done. I can't decide if, to, if like I should go ahead and take care of that today. So yeah, I mean, it's like a, a gluttonous day. Look at this coat, not sponsored, but it's from Everlane and it was $150 off. So if you're an Everlane fan and you need a sensible puffer, I think the color is so cute. And it was 99 bucks. I got 99 problems, but a puffer ain't one. You need to leave. I'll see myself out. Okay, bye. What in the inspector gadget is this? Sunday, April 2nd. So cold. So cold. Things akimbo. Kimberly akimbo. Corn akimbo. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Today is fun. Heading to the park with Edward, and then oh, getting a haircut, and then taking a little bear to daycare, and then dinner with my friends Jory and Emma. So, a very fun day. I am hoping to record a few videos today. Very ambitious of me. And there's something about like booking a contract. Um, and even though, candidly, I'll be making negative money on this contract, I don't know. Oh god, this is cruel. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it makes you want to shop. It makes me want to shop. So you climb in. Anyway, all I want to do is go buy athleisure. Um, even though I'm not on team choreo, I'm on team directing. But we will be outside in the heat a lot. Finding appropriate athleisure for the next two months working with adults and then working with children, you know, so covering all territories, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, oh my God, my nose is running. Maybe I'll take you along a little bit, a little, little shopping moment and, uh... oh my God, one more thing. I need to research the red carpet people so I know what to ask. I look a fright. Love you, bye. Ooh, that fresh haircut feel. It's always one of those things where it's like, oh, I'm growing my hair out. I don't need a haircut. And then the shape is just so much better. And he didn't take off too much. So in other news, our CBS Sunday morning spot on Chucked aired this morning. And I've gotten texts from people being like, I saw you on TV, which seems impossible to me because of where I was sitting that day. But you can see my strong brow game, as Edward Miskey said, hiding uh, back there. But here's a little inside info. I don't normally sit there. I normally sit next to Robert. And uh, that was just for the cameras. So nothing makes you feel better than <sighs> being told to uh, move to the back table just for show because they don't want to be seen sitting next to you. They want to be seen sitting next to uh, fancier people. I love this job. And also sometimes being an assistant is hard. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? My time will come. That'll be fine. Let's take the train out of town. Edward is shopping with me. Oh my goodness, all the athleisure. Indeed. <laughs> this day is chaos already. Happy April 4th. It is Broadway opening night for Shucked on Broadway. Holy, holy shuck. Holy shuck, holy shuck, holy shuck, holy shuck. It is 10.30 a.m. I have already been in the booth for an hour. I just had a session. I'm going to deliver a bunch of voiceovers because my editors are working right now. But my dog walker is sick. She was gonna take the dog home tonight. Now that's not a thing. And so I think I'm gonna have to board him overnight, which means I need to pack food, make sure there's space for him at boarding, jog him to boarding, take the train back down to my apartment, shower, and be ready with my hair dried before the fabulous human who is coming to do my hair for opening opening bougie I know comes at noon and then makeup comes at one and then I'm gonna try to get down around 2 33 arrive at the red carpet 3 3 30 I'm interviewing people on the red carpet from 4 to 6 30 shows at 6 30 party is afterwards 
Let's do that. Also, let's give you a sneak peek at how the sausage is getting made. I don't even know that all of these people are gonna end up on the red carpet, but this is the current confirmed list. And these are the different like prompts and questions that I wanna ask them. And they're like personalized based on what they do. I have to run all these by tonight. Now don't be silly, Andrea, these two. I've never worked a red carpet before, so baby just wants to be prepared. This is Morgan, crushing the hair game, also ready for Fiddler on the Roof. How y'all doing? <laughs> Only Paolo can take this and this and give you a princess. Always. <laughs> like, I don't even know if I know how to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan did such an amazing job with these hair extensions. Then it was time to throw on the dress and get ready to go. I also love these cute little boots. Did a little makeup check on the iPhone while waiting for the cab. Yes, those are corn microphones in my purse. Thank you, Black & Decker, for my drill. And made it to the red carpet. This was my first time working a red carpet, and I loved it. Hopefully not the last. Though I don't hold a candle to how charismatic this child is. He's unbelievable. This is the corn kid, Tariq. And there's our full, wonderful creative team. Okay, so we've talked to cast, we've talked to, who else have we talked to? Creatives, and the corn kid, a little. And now we're waiting for celebrities. Even fancier people. Icons, stars, celebrities, opening night, working it, yes. <laughs> Serving, work, yes. Okay, so here's the secret, I'm not watching actual <laughs> I'm chilling here with some ginger ale and resting my weary bones after talking for three hours. And hanging with two of the kindest humans. The IP room, living its best life. Alexis and Robert, right? My new best friends. The audience loves Tampa. Team went on stage. Great big love fest on stage. I mean, who can be mad about that? Edward and his corn husk epilogue. Hello. This is Haley Queen Wright, one of the literal okay, queens of no. six. We got shots. Oh, we're on our way to the party, and I just went to lean on Edward's shoulder. Listen. <laughs> I'm crunch. The crunch. <laughs> This party is insane. Oh my god, wait. Also, this portrait. Oh my god. Unreal. The jig is up. I'm taking my hair out in the cab. I'm so grateful to be seated. Hold on, I need light. We made it. Here's the house. I'm taking my hair out. I'm so tired. It's 11.22 and I'm so proud. I just also want all of TikTok to know Edward Miskey is the most perfect opening night date <laughs> on the planet. Like the perfect energy. He said he was proud of me right after the show. So proud. He centered me, which was like a dream. He had a great time. He crunched. <laughs> Everyone loved his corn us. Like truly a dream. A dream. You're the best. Dream. I love you so much. You. It was great. And I'm, I'm proud of this whole freaking year and tonight, and I'm so tired. <laughs> Honestly, this is like not, not a cute look. I'm wearing a gift. There is uh, my hair, some gorgeous flowers from a fam. Fantastic and goofy and practical and wild gifts. And it's 1213, and that is a wrap on Shucked on Broadway for me. Proud and tired, and I only have one full day left in the city before heading out on my next adventure. We got this! We got this! If you're a mother shucker and you've made it through this wild video, 
thank you. If you're one of the many wonderful people I met at Shucked who came up and said hi because of TikTok, you're the best. Y'all have all been the kindest, best humans alive. I continue to meet more of you tonight. Let's keep this good thing going. If you're involved with Shucked, thank you for an unbelievable year. And I'm gonna go to bed now. Night, y'all. <laughs>